I'm Murph, and remember, Kim Goal, I'm coming for you. And now, our host, Chris Gether. Thank you, Murph. your host, Chris Gethard, here with our old friend, Griffin Newman, ready to have some fun tonight. Griffin, how you been? Uh, I've been doing great, yeah. Just watching a bunch of uh, Vacation Jason videos to prime up for tonight. <laughs> Vacation Jason. I also hear that you, you've been double booked tonight. You'll also be appearing on the show after us on Eminem, Horse and Bee. Yeah, if I could plug that, I'm going to be on uh, Horse and Bee special. So <laughs> after the show tonight, yes. Tonight. Don't yeah. change the dial from MNN. Yeah. Horse and Bee coming up. Also featuring Griffin Newman. And I understand also featuring The Unlovables, which is very eerie. Coincidence. Double, double booked. Coincidence. But a I think double. It's a really great show. Rehearsals have been going. <laughs> rehearsals. Yeah. I'm glad Horse and B. We've never had a rehearsal. They were on tight show. Now, Griffin, I have a question for you. Are uh -huh. you the type of guy who likes to delve into mysteries, into Constantly. the unknown? Yes. Truth. Of course. Yeah. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, then tonight you'll be right at home because tonight we're going to play a game we call Mystery Boxes. Mystery Boxes. Now, here's the way this works. Griffin, here's the way this works. We have eight boxes here, each labeled with the name of a different serial killer. We need you guys to call us up at 212-757-1393. That's 212-757-1393. You'll tell us which serial killer we should open. You'll tell us which cast member you want to open it. At that point, that person will open that box, pull out whatever's in there, which is something that's been used on our show before, and they'll just have to use it somehow, uh, however you see fit. So that makes sense to all of our panelists. Messenger bag, you got that? Yeah, I got it. All right, don't be fucking cool about it, man. <laughs> be real cool about it. Let's go ahead to our first caller, Jacob in Westchester. How are you? What's so up? All right, Jacob from Westchester. You will be picking our first box. Oh, this is a really tough decision. Okay, but first, who do you want to pick it? Which member of the cast? Oh, fuck. Uh, I like Murph. I'm going with Murph. Murph, you'll be picking our first box tonight. Please come forward. Okay. <laughs> So you got Jack the Ripper, Ted Bundy, Manson, Gacy, Jim Jones, Richard Ramirez, David Parker, Ray, and Jeffrey Dahmer. Who would you like Murph to open? I'm a pretty, I'm partial to, um, I'm a Manson man. Okay. <laughs> a Manson man. That's the word name. Okay, Murph, thank you so much for the call. Murph, you will be opening our first box. You're welcome. Which is Manson. I'm so oh, excited I get to get Right. So Murph, Manson. whatever's in there, you got to just use it. However you see fit, we'll make it happen. What do you have oh, it's there? moist. Whatever it is. You have something that is moist. You have some oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, Murph, I'm sorry to tell you, oh, you have removed boy. the combination of dog food and vinegar. Oh. You all remember Messenger Back's first show? He had to eat that. Not had to. Chose to. Just chose to eat that. Murph, I don't know if you want to eat it. You want to try to convince other people to eat it. You are in charge of the dog food and vinegar tonight. So you have to be eating that. All right, wonderful. Let's go to Mike in Ithaca. Mike, welcome to the show. Uh, Mike, are you there? I hear you. Um, can you hear me? I can. Is this the Mike who called from the library at Cornell on Skype? No, I'm a different Mike, but the same city. Awesome. Another Mike from Ithaca. So, who do you want yeah. to open our second mystery box tonight? So, I am originally from New Mexico, so I'd like to pick David Parker Ray. David Parker Ray. Great choice. <laughs> Great choice. Now, but wait, who do you want to open that? Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, let's go with Griffin. Bethany. Bethany. Yeah. Bethany. Yeah. Parker Ray. David Parker Ray. Now, if anybody doesn't know David Parker Ray, in my opinion, he's the most underrated serial killer. <laughs> he is the toy box killer. Look it up. Not many people know about him. Is that why you put smiley faces on the box? <laughs> 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 Wait, what did he do? He basically kidnapped women, put them in a trailer, and played an audio tape for them explaining how his dog was going to have sex with them. It's really, really, really messed up. You can read the transcript of it online. I highly Chris, recommend it. Chris, I just want to tell you, you're working so hard, and all people are doing on the, all the chat rats are doing are making puns about horse and beef. <laughs> that is not the show. It's the second show. 11.30 tonight. No, <laughs> so no more. I, I, people are excited about it. It's going to be a shitty clusterfuck. Bethany, open that box up. Let's see what you got. Murph, half the dog food and vinegar, dog. Oh, Murph, you're actively eating dog food and vinegar. Yeah, there's chunks. <laughs> what are those hard chunks? Okay. Bethany, you have the clippers from the Zach Galifianakis episode. Bethany's willing to give anyone a haircut. If we have any volunteers, come see Bethany. We got a guy right there. Sir, you want to come up? Get your haircut. Wonderful. All right. Let's do it. 
I think we got time for one more call. Bethany and Murph have chosen their boxes. The rest of us are still on the docket. Let's go ahead. Todd from Pittsburgh, our old friend, the gift master. How are you? Hey, what's going on, Pick? Todd? Yeah, could you hear me? I can hear you, Todd. Yes. Who do you want to open our next box? Chris, I want you to open up Jack the Ripper. You want me to open up Jack the Ripper? Okay. Jack the Ripper. Absolutely. Bethany is getting. Sir, what's your name? Uh, Dio. 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 Um, thank you for coming to the show. Have you been before? First time here. First time, and you're letting someone you don't know cut your hair. Hey. Let's Dio come Ripper, forward a little Dio, bit. What kind of look are you looking come for? Come forward a little bit. <laughs> Probably uh, Vin Diesel. Great, I can do that. <laughs> You don't even know what this is. You don't even, you've never seen this thing. Ah, Murph's got that. I have the taste zapper. Wonderful. All right. Sounds good to me. I think we're having a real fun time. Now, Griffin, you have not pulled the box yet. Are there no, any objects? I don't know if my hands work anymore. <laughs> Are there any objects from the show you want to see that you don't want to see? What are you hoping for? Uh, I mean, I'd say Vacation Jason's Coconut's probably oh, top God. of the list. You <laughs> love that guy. He's my favorite comedian, so, yeah. He's your favorite <laughs> comedian yeah. overall. Yeah. I think that that is a truly, truly bad decision that you've made. In the meantime, we'll see if you pull those out. In the meantime, we've got some very important words from other producers here at Eminem. Check out what else is on the network. We'll be right back with more of the Chris Kessler Show. Hello, my name is the Beastmaster Bader. Some of you may know me from this show. I was chosen by Jesus Christ to go masturbate vampires and werewolves so they don't rape people in New York City. That's what I got on my face right now. Come, I'm here to promote my new show that's on the MMN Network, and it is called God is Real and Will Make Us Rich, and also, please kill me right now, I beg you. It's a show where I discuss potential premises of a relaunched season of Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, the TV show Arliss, and also the TV show Frasier, where a sexy little beast masturbator comes to Seattle and fucks everyone on Frasier and then kills himself live on air. The last half an hour of my hour-long show is me blindfolded in the studio begging for anyone to come in and murder me so my life is over. Please. Oh, won't you join me? Oh, won't you join me? Because God is real! God is real! God is real! God is real! Please kill me! Please kill me! Please kill me! Please kill me. Please. Please kill me. Lifetime Network, it's on. Again, taking your calls, you're telling us which boxes to open. Things are inside those boxes, and we're using. Ah! I just like you, human ah! fish. Human fish, what's on your mind? Oh, Doris Day versus Kid and Play. <laughs> Who wins? Wonderful. Let's go to the phones. Jaeger in New Jersey. Welcome back to the show. Jaeger, are you there? Yeah, hello? All right, who do you want to open our next box? Can I talk to Paris? Open up DC. What? Hot Dog Paris. You want Hot Dog Parish? Hot Dog yeah. Parish, not technically a member of the cast of this show so far. Hot Dog Parish, are you willing to open our next box? Are you willing to open our next box? Oh, Mike, microphone. Microphone, Hot Dog Parish. All right, now we've got Jeffrey Dahmer, Richard Ramirez, Gacy, Jim Jones, and Ted Bundy. Did you Welcome. say Gacy? Gacy, okay. You want it's a chair. Hot Dog, you'll be opening. John Wayne, Gacy, Murph, how you doing with that dog food? Oh, man, this is for dogs, not this is for dogs, not people. Okay, Dio, how's your haircut? Oh, Dio, you look horrible. <laughs> Let's get a close-up on Dio. I tried to do, Why uh, I tried to do Vin Diesel as if he had a checkerboard. You failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. It's a ton of diapers. Hot Dog, you have a ton of adult diapers. Choose what you want to do with those. I don't, I don't know how that'll work out, but please, make your way through the studio, see if you can get people to put them on. If you want to put them on, that is up to you. In the meantime, let's go back to the phones. Danny in Boston, welcome to the show. Hey. Danny, who do you want to open a box? Can I have Messenger Bag open uh, Ted Bundy? Messenger Bag will now be opening Ted Bundy! Ted Bundy! Ted Bundy. Oh, oh, Bundy. Oh, Bundy. Oh, Bundy. Oh, Bundy. Now, Messenger Bag, how you been? What? Take it, dude. 
Oh, you got the Mrs. Dash. You're all dressed. Oh, yeah. That's what you're back training episode, you consume this until you look like you were on methamphetamine. And here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Message for that, ladies and gentlemen. That's by the AV Club yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, Anne's getting dumped. Oh, God. Does anyone else want a haircut? Theo, let's come forward. Let's see your haircut. I don't know if you're done with that. Bethany, you are not done with Theo. Theo, how familiar were you with the show before you came tonight? Very familiar. You've you watched the show a lot. Yes, I've watched it many, many times. So you knew what you were getting into. Oh, definitely. Did you think Bethany was going to be nicer than what she was with this haircut? I, I think Bethany is the nicest girl here. When so you look in the mirror, you will no longer think that. I hope not. I promise you that. All right. Thank you for the haircut, Dio. Anyone else want a haircut? Any more volunteers? Oh, we got someone right there. Come on up, sir. What's your name? Jericho, you'll be getting our next haircut. Thank you. Is this your first time here? Do you know what? You see Dio, right? <laughs> you love it. All right. Jericho. I don't know if it's style for me, but it's... <laughs> All right. It ain't up to you, Jericho. It's up to me. Obadiah in Oklahoma, keeper of the dick skirt. How are you? Who do you want to open a box tonight? I want to, um, I want to get messenger bag to open um, <clears throat> that Jeffrey Dummel box. Okay, messenger bag again. He just opened one. Our guest Griffin Newman standing here like an asshole. <laughs> I would pick messenger bag You're over me Griffin though. Feel I'm like a much bigger fan. Asshole. He's my second favorite comedian. So I would definitely pick him. <laughs> messenger bag. You'll also be opening this big boy, Jeffrey Dahmer. All right, now Griffin, how does it make you feel that the world has not picked you? I, I well, would never pick me. <laughs> yes, you would. No, no I've been saying I agree with the world. You're a sweet, charming boy. Yeah, but this is messenger oh, bag. Oh, super messenger bag. That is, of course. I need a microphone over the messenger. Oh, messenger back to Tyler Knight. Tyler Knight. Messenger back, you are blowing that yes. thing. You are loving that. That's what Don't. he gets picked twice. That's it right the there. That's, that's two picks right there. Messenger yeah. back, what is up with you? Why is that your first time? I don't know. I'm having a good time tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. 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 Which have, uh, Griffin Newman open oh Richard Ramirez. Griffin Newman. Now, we Griffin only have two boxes left. Okay. We did not make enough boxes tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, 17 minutes of show left. <laughs> two boxes. All right, you wanted him to open which one? Uh, Richard Ramirez. Is that Richard Ramirez. Ramirez. Okay. Oh, that's Richard very Ramirez. Slow. Yeah, take yeah. your time. Really open that in slow, yeah. sensual fashion. Griffin Newman. Oh, oh. What do you Chris, got? It's a good one. You got a good one? It's a good one. <laughs> I have. Oh, wow. Wow. The double handed dildo, the human fish, loves it. Loves it. Andrew Hotdog Paris, come here, please. You're still distributing diapers, and you're also wearing one over your clothes. <laughs> human fish. Griffin Newman's putting that yeah. in his pants. As you look at Griffin, what's on your mind? Griffin Newman versus a Griffin Newman. A Griffin Newman. Who wins? Griffin New Man. All right, Griffin New Man. You like the new you. Yeah. You like the new, new Griffin. Yeah. All right. Hot dog, you're wearing that diaper. You yeah. also, you're making a face like you're urinating in it, but you have your pants on under it. I want to remind you of that. I'm just trying to sit on this without disrupting the table. <laughs> it's sort of shaky. I don't want to knock it the fuck over. Then why are you sitting you on it? You said come over here. I'll sleep. Yeah, but you <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew, Hot Dog Paris, has anyone else put on a diaper? I saw him throwing them in the craft. Oh, we've got somebody wearing one on their head. You look great, wonderful. Jericho, how are you feeling about your haircut? I don't see much of a difference thus far. I keep cutting and it's just, there's more. <laughs> there's so much hair. All right, Jericho, we'll check in with your haircut in a few minutes. We've got more commercials on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more Chris Gethard Show. Do not change the channel. <laughs> know me as the New Yorker writer who was fired for being too pretentious. <laughs> but now I've gone from the annals of that fabled institution to MNN, where I'll be hosting Scrapbook Sundays. <laughs> we'll be engaging in a banal, pedestrian, Midwestern art form. So everyone gather around, find all the pictures you can of Malcolm Gladwell.
cut them out of magazines, newspapers, his book, until we reach a veritable tipping point of Malcolm Gladwell pictures. We will take the pictures, we will paste them in a book, and we will destroy the book. We will burn the book in effigy. We will burn effigies of that curly-haired freak. That curly-haired pop scientist freak. And if you have a picture of David Remnick, you can throw it in there too. Because guess what? I am mad as hell, and I am not gonna take it anymore. on Sundays at MNN. Check it out. The Man of Guyana. Okay, Griffin Newman and the Tyler Knight blow-up doll are having a sword fight. They are, I believe that is called frotting. Well, they're attempting to dock, it looks like. They're both circumcised. They're looking so to dock that's not with working. two circumcised penises. Now, let's point out Tyler Knight. That is a blow-up doll of a real porn star named Tyler Knight. And I want to make sure, I don't know how many people saw this. The real Tyler Knight saw the show where we featured his blow-up doll, the beef off too. He tweeted at me. I said, anytime you want to come on the show, let me know. He said, next time I'm in New York, I'll be there. So I want to see a world where the real Tyler Knight is here while he watches Messenger Bag fillet the fake Tyler Knight. <laughs> Tyler Knight, you get at us. We'll make it happen. The world is yours, my dude. All right, we've got one more box. We've also got a lot of this. Jericho, I'm sorry. I had to do that. Not that bad, right? <laughs> Bethany didn't like it. Okay. Anything else? Murph, you're done with that dog food oh, and vinegar. Is there anybody else who wants to try a combo of dog food and vinegar? No and takers. Dash, Big surprise. Dash, oh, you put a little Mrs. Dash in there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead then. It looks like, oh, another Ithaca call. A lot of people in Ithaca, which is fantastic. Keep your eyes peeled. Anybody who's in or near Ithaca, next week we might try something really cool. Keep your eyes peeled. In the meantime, Jake from Ithaca, you get to open our last box of the Which evening. Jake. You yes. are bound to the Jim Jones box. Who do you want to open it? Uh, well, we, I'm with a couple people here, and we were wondering if we can give it to Mimi on the hoop. Oh! Yeah. They want Mimi. Mimi on the hoops, of course, the kinetic wallpaper of the Chris Gathered Show. Mimi, they want you to open the Jim Jones box. Are you a fan of Woo. Jim Jones? <laughs> Delicious, I don't know. <laughs> Kool-Aid is delicious. Here it is. Mimi, what is in that box? Oh, oh no. you have a twister board from the Royal Rumble of Twister. Yeah. All right. Mimi, anytime you spin that, you can make anyone in this room put their foot hand on whatever it is. So if you say put your right hand on something red, we all have to find something red, put our right hand on it. So whatever More you want to do, throw like to do that right now. Do it. That's all right. Fun. Every single person in this room is bound by Mimi's honor. Mimi? Spinning it. Okay. A moment of high tension. Uh, left foot on something green. Everyone in this studio needs to put their left foot on something green right now. Something right now. What is green? I see nothing green. There's literally nothing green in here. Is that, does that qualify? Everybody needs to find something of green. I'm just going to put... Okay, all right. Let's make sure we pan around the audience. The Chris Gethard Show audience having fun tonight. <laughs> Everybody putting their left feet on something deep. Okay, all of us. Rob Malone, the world's greatest dancer. How are you feeling about tonight's show? I think you're doing a great job, Chris. Thank you, Rob. We're having a great time over here. I know uh, uh, Messenger Bag was rooting for right mouth on something black. <laughs> right mouth on something black. <laughs> what a shot is that? Now, Murph, we got a little extra time, so maybe me and you should make a little announcement about what we're doing on Halloween. Oh, yes. Yeah. Halloween's a big day in the world of the mysterious, in the world of the shadowy. Murph, where do you think a good place for me and you and Banana Man and our friend Brian Miller is to spend October 31st? Oh, I don't know. Chapel Hill? Chapel Hill, North Carolina. We're going Because we know where Gimgul's going to be. They don't know where we're going to be. Gimgul, we hear you got a castle and you like to throw parties. We bet you're throwing a Halloween party and guess what? We wrote our own invitations. We're going to go bobbing for scumbums. Bobbing for scumbums. Bite every one of you. 
<laughs> All right. Murph, we're going to go out there. We're going to get them. Human fish, what's on your mind as we wrap up this wonderful episode of the Chris Gethers Show? We should have had, what, like two more boxes? Yeah. We've got a guy with the diaper on his head. All right. Human fish, what's on your mind? Party of five versus house party five. Yeah. Party of five versus house party five. Who wins? House party five. House party five. I think that's true. Can play? Jericho, literally no change in your hair. Bethany. There's so much hair and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Jericho, have you ever been told that you have beautiful hair before? I don't think so. By a round of applause, who does agree that Jericho has a beautiful Woo! head of hair? A beautiful head of hair. Look, All at right. how, look how much hair there is. Very cool. Messenger bag, is there any other gross thing you want to do before this evening is up? Does anyone have any requests? We'll have to get to those later. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, we have a wonderful, wonderful musical guest the Unlovables. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody, I'm Griffin New, and I'm hosting Saddleby Nay Hive tonight with musical guest the Unlovables. Are you excited for tonight's show? Couldn't be more excited, Griffin. Because he's a bee. Hey, I'm Griffin Newman. I'm hosting Saturday Night Hive tonight with musical guest The Unlovables. Ooh, unlovables. I don't un I don't lovable running around a track with no horseshoes. Because he's a horse. Because he's a horse. Hey everybody, I'm Griffin Newman. I'm hosting Saturday Night Hive tonight with musical guest The Unlovables. It's the buzz around the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm Griffin Newman. I'm hosting Saddleby Nay Hive tonight with musical guest The Unlovables. Horace, you excited for tonight's show? Oh, I, I'm so excited. I can barely cult it together. <laughs> it's a type of horse. Colt is a type of horse. Hey, I'm Griffin Newman. I'm hosting Saddleby Nay Hive tonight with musical guest The Unlovables. Humblebee. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that one. I don't. <laughs> I'm Griffin hey, Newman. I'm hosting. Hey, hey, horse, how's it going? I'm hosting. Oh, good to see. I gotta finish up the promo. So, right, uh, 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 Saddleby. You've been mean to me all week. <laughs> hey, I'm Griffin Newman. I'm hosting Saddleby Nay Hive tonight with musical guest The Unlovables. How do you feel about The Unlovables, B? Tell you what, I love them, B. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've had a really fun night. We have had a very fun night. I am excited. So happy that you guys joined us. I hope everybody enjoyed opening boxes, talking about serial killers, doing fucked up shit. But now we are going to dance. We are going to party. We are going to have fun. One of my all-time favorite bands is about to finally play our show. If you are a fan of punk rock in the New York area, you've probably spent the past 10 years obsessing over these guys. One of my all-time favorites. Please, I am the luckiest man in the world. Welcome the Unlovable! Hey, you do you know what today is?
And now a message from the Presidents of the United States. Good evening, uh, my fellow Americans. I'm President B. Rock Obama. <laughs> and I'm President Barack Obama. Uh, we are the co-presidents. As many of you know, uh, the government shutdown has recently wrecked you havoc on the nation's infrastructure. It couldn't like be any worse. Okay, right. But uh, as co-presidents with similar sounding names, uh, we believe it's not important to focus on who's winning and who is appalooseing. So, as of today, we are announcing a new direction for the United States government. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the USA will no longer be a democracy. But rather, a democracy. <laughs> the democracy of the USA. That's right. That's right. Uh, we are uh, going to uh, challenge, change the government to be more aligned with our values. As of now, the role of president no longer exists. We now have a queen bee, a gay bee, child. Yeah, that's right. Uh, now uh, a bee will not, now just bee will be wearing the triple crown. You best believe it. Mm -hmm. I will be stepping down as President Barack Obama and be taking over as Secretariat of Defense. Uh, <laughs> But, horse, you're not a man of war. It's not war defense. It's defense we're putting around the White House so I can trot freely. That's right. Because of my huge responsibilities, I will now be designating some of my responsibilities to the new Secretariat of War. I have been a very busy bee. Yep. And uh, as my first move, uh, I think we must tangle ourselves against the Republicans, a group that is crippling this country. That's right, horse. The Republicans are just sitting and wasping the nation crumble. We also want to focus on the Department of Education. Yeah. And stick our nectar out for the children. Because children are the future. Let's turn those C's into B's. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's euthanize the nation. No job left behind. Yeah. I, I, exactly. The, the classroom is a place for all of us, all our children, to learn. Not a place for children to be constantly jocking around for positions. We want all our children to graduate honeycomb laude. Now, I know there's one equestrian that's on everyone's mind, okay? Let's not buzz around the bush here. Where do we stand on immigration? Well, to our Mexican friends from the South, we support you, okay? We're not just going to say, caballo, have a safe trip home. <laughs> caballo, of course, is the Spanish word for horse. <laughs> no. Uh, in fact, we are deeply bumbled that you chose to live here in the great country. Uh, it shows we're doing something right. Abeja is Spanish for B. Yeah. <laughs> we are not concerned with approval grazings. Nor pollen numbers. <laughs> Except the Gallup poll. <laughs> but to the American people, uh, we, look, we just want to be straight with you. Speak yeah. for yourself, horse. I'm a gay B. Black, white, Kentucky Derby, whatever race you come from, we'll speak up for you. I cannot see color. I'll scream until I'm hoarse. And I'll scream until I'm beat. And lastly, hi from New York, it's Saddle Bee Day! It's Saddle Bee Nate Hi. excited to be here hosting Saddle B Nay High. That will not be the last pun I make tonight. Now obviously like everyone else I grew up loving this show and it really is a dream come true. I mean working with this cast and crew all week they've all been so incredible to me. 
Uh, other than B, who's, who's uh, been a little uh, strange to me, a little dickish act. Oh, here he is, B, ladies and gentlemen, a B. Yeah. Saying, I, I feel like uh, there's been a little tension between us. Hello, Newman. <laughs> okay, I see what's happening here. You, this, the, the Seinfeld, right? Okay, Newman. Right. There's a character on Seinfeld named Newman and is making a joke, but I'm not that character. I'm an, another human being. Oh, really? Yeah. You're another human being? Yes. Yeah, I have no relation to Newman from okay. Seinfeld. Okay. Well, what do you put inside of a mailbox? A uh, letter. That's what hmm, you put there. No. Newman. Seems like you know an awful lot about the United States postal system. Well, that's, I feel like that's just common knowledge. I feel like anyone could have answered that question. I feel like you're getting up on me. It's a horse around horse. Can we? I feel like you need to defend me. Horse, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, it's going okay. I feel like B and I are, aren't really seeing uh, eye to eye on some stuff. Uh, he seems to think that I'm Newman from Seinfeld, which is obviously ridiculous. That's just my name. Yeah, no, that's stupid. You're clearly not Newman from Seinfeld. Thank don't you. Don't worry about B. He just thank gets you. a little stuck in his ways, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm personally really excited to have you here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm very excited to be here. I mean, yeah. a real life Griffin. You know how much money I could get on no. the black okay. money market? Okay, see, this is. This is the same problem, because that's not I'm, not. I'm a human being. I'm not a, I'm not a Griffin. Oh, sure. You're telling the truth, and you're not a lion. <laughs> at least, at least, at least half of the half the, the body right, of a lion. Pun, yeah. No, it's a good pun, but I'm not. This, I'm a human being. I mean, just because my You're name not is a Griffin? Griffin Newman doesn't mean I'm a Griffin or a Newman. I mean, just because your name is Horse doesn't. I, mean, <laughs> I guess. Never mind. Well, you know what? Enough Newman. horsing around, folks. Let's get on with the rest of the show, right? Yeah, yeah we got a great show. Yeah! Stick around. Move horse, horse northwest, 14 degrees. Sergeant Horse. What is it, Chris Gethard? <laughs> Sergeant Horse, the Germans have spotted our position. There's a torpedo headed right towards us. This is an emergency. An emergent B? No, an emergent C. Good, you're not a B. That was a test. Hey, good work, Sarge. Horse, the torpedoes are headed right toward us. What should we do? Well, since it's an emergent bee, the first thing we should do is ration the hay and oats. Yes, sir! Okay. What? Sergeant Horse, I think we're past the point of rationing hay and oats. The, the torpedoes will be here any moment. Shh, Chris, he's the sergeant, okay? We have to do what he says. Listen, Chris, get heard. He's right. I am the sergeant here, and I've been through the ringer. I'm no fool. Okay, the first, the first thing you're supposed to do in an emergency is ration the food, okay? Which, of course, is hay and oats, because I'm a horse and I'm the sergeant, okay? It's the first thing I learned in hoof camp. Hoof camp? Yeah, what did I say? Hoof camp. Yeah, that's right, hoof camp. No, it's, it's boot camp. That's what I said. No, you said hoof camp. Yeah, look, that's right. Look, okay, stop riding me, all right? This is an emergent bee. The torpedoes are coming right at us and, and uh, you know, our hay and oats, which are important. We have to notify the other submarines. Luckily, we have horse code. <laughs> Not this again. No, horse code. It's a long message, any response? We don't have much time. Also, Sergeant, that girl is sound asleep. How did she get in here? Any response? We don't have much time. <laughs> Look, you're right, all right? We should start figuring this out. It's serious, okay? That's the first order of business. It's a submarine, she has to work. Horse, you were saying. As a first order of business, I say I should get more food because I'm a horse and you're a human. Good call, Sarge. I think you're overly worried about food, but horse, the stakes are really high. 
Well, why are they so high? Bring the stakes down lower so it's easier for us to eat them. Your priorities are in all the wrong places. The only thing in the wrong place are the stakes. They're too high, Chris. Chris. They're hard to reach. Chris, look, you just need to trust the sergeant, okay? He's been through four wars. He's a war horse. <laughs> no, screw this. I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. I'm tired of you stalling. Stalling? I'm not a stallion. Why are you so concerned with the amount of food and not the incoming torpedo? Because I'm an Australian stock horse, Chris. A stock horse. All I care about is food and the amount of it in any given facility. Okay, and I'm not afraid to let... Oh, I got a response. It's from my friend, the Raven. Great, what did he say? Well, quote the Raven, never mare. Ne never, never manure. Horse poop. Be fallen. Clydesdale. Hornet. Mustang. Honeybee. Live from Eminem Studios, it's Beak and Up Horse with a horse and a bee. Hello, welcome to Beak and Up Horse. I'm Horse. And I'm B, and here are tonight's top stories. <clears throat> Alice Munro, the master of the modern short story, won the 2013 Nobel Prize for Literature. When asked for comment, Alice said, I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> the most popular movie this weekend was the space thriller Gravity, uh, making $54 million. When asked for comment, George Clooney said he was glad those people ponied up <laughs> all that money. Ha cha cha. Mm. The MLB playoffs are in full swing with the Detroit Tigers playing the Beantown Red Sox in the American League. The winner will, of course, advance to the World Series, while the loser will go home, turn on some porn, and yellow jacket. In more sports news, Peyton Manning continues to be a real workhorse for the Denver Broncos while Eli Manning continues to struggle. I guess you could say Eli is a real Shetland pony. In other football news, <laughs> Andrew Luck, or as I like to call him, Andrew, the canceled HBO show about horses by the guy who made Deadwood and also starring Dustin Hoffman, Luck, is doing pretty well for the Indianapolis Colts. In more football news, Colt McCoy. <laughs> In other sports news, the New Orleans Hornets have officially changed their name to the New Orleans Pelicans, and I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> the Obamacare site is finally working, so now myself and million, millions of other Americans can finally go register for universal horse care. <laughs> At least once my colic clears up. <laughs> That's a horse disease. <laughs> In Houston this weekend, a police sting shut down a multi-million dollar prostitution ring. Now, according to police reports, the accused were caught with a whore net. Now, as many of you know, there's a certain someone who appears on the Chris Gethard show a lot, uh, name of Hot Dog, and uh, Hot Dog's here to talk about some of his favorite things. Uh, Hot Dog, why don't you come on out? Yeah. Hey, horse. Hey, B. Hi, hot dog. I was reading today that uh, hand sanitizer could be toxic, and I was thinking, gee whiz, I put that on my hot dog. <laughs> have some self-respect, man. Is that, all you, is that really just what you just That's, did? Have some self-respect. It's funny. <laughs> horse, I hear I'm made out of your geldings. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, man. Reach a little higher. Re get you you little better humor, huh? Hebrew National is a type of hot dog. <laughs> and you know you know what I hear, B. What? It's made out of dogs. <laughs> This is fucking embarrassing for you. you a golden... You're embarrassing yourself. You're dressed like, like a, a hot dog and you're just making hot dog puns. It's like you're a golden retriever on fire. Okay, okay. hot dog. It's a hot, hot dog. Okay, hot dog. <laughs> hot dog, you're embarrassing yourself right now. You're, you're, you, you look ridiculous and you're only saying puns. Yesterday I went to the store and got 100% beef. Okay, now you're... My, you're seriously my just wasting stuck, our time right now? My so bun is stuck in my it. buns. <laughs> Good. Hell, yes. What the hell is your problem? My favorite Alice Monroe story is, please tell me something about her buns. All right, hot I'm dog. Hot dog. Like, this is okay. Ladies and gentlemen, hot dog. Andrew, hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was terrible. Terrible. A Panera Bread is opening in Island Park, New York, this week, adding to its some 1,500 locations nationwide. Now that's what I call a thorough bread company. In other news, in 1969, Buzz Aldrin went to the moon. <laughs> that's it. In entertainment news, it's been rumored that Ronan Farrow, the son of Mia Farrow and Woody Allen, was actually fathered by Frank Sinatra. When asked for comment, Ronan mentioned he'd always been recognized by his old glue eyes. <laughs> ha cha cha. Over the past year, popular site BuzzFeed has reportedly tripled its presence on the web. I don't know who that spider is, but boy, has he captured a lot of pollen. You know, because BuzzFeed is pollen and bees eat pollen, and the web is a spider web, and that is a fellow insect. <laughs> Last month, USC Athletics Director Pat Hayden fired coach Lane Kiffin on the team bus and forced him to ride, find his own ride home. Considering they were once friends, you know, they were once pals. I was sure one pal being mean to another pal. Or as the Italians call it, palomino. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger said this week that he thinks Portuguese soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo has great abs. Arnold then got up, turned around, and said, all beeswax. <laughs> Joyce Carol Oates was in the news recently. <laughs> Yummy. Honey, don't get me started. Well, that's the news, and I guess, I guess we, we really beat, beat that, that horse to, to death. death. Ladies and gentlemen, the Unlovables!
two. Dance party for two. Me and you. Dance party for two. Dance party for two. Me and you. And gentlemen, welcome to For Beater or For Horse, the world's best game show in the world. I'm your host, Gary Mustang. Be now, of course, you all know the rules, but I will remind our audience viewing at home. So I will read a fact, and then the contestants will guess whether or not that fact is about a horse <laughs> or about a bee. Well, let's meet our contestants. First of all, I'd like to introduce you all to a horse. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, next up, we have a B. And Chris Gethard. So let's get the game started <laughs> right now. So right into it. First clue. First clue. This animal has hoofs. Chris? Uh, B. No, that's incorrect, Chris Gethard. A B does not have hoofs. Horse? Bzz, a horse. That is correct. Horse. <laughs> the answer is a horse. A horse has hooves, Chris Gethard. A, a horse. I don't know why you would guess otherwise. Hey, Chris, could you be a little more serious, please? Yeah, yeah quit horsing around, please. Yeah. And they aren't lying. A lion, of course, makes up the body and tail of a griffin. Now, next question. <laughs> next question. Ready for this one, panelists? Uh, next question. This animal is known by its yellow and black stripe pattern. Chris Gethard. Uh, horse. <laughs> no, we don't. That's insulting, Chris Gethard. I am outraged right now. Yeah, easy. Easy, boy. Easy. Easy, okay? No, Chris Gethard, that is very incorrect. B for the rebound? Bzz. A B? Yes. A B is known by its yellow and black stripe pattern. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. It's right there. So far, the score is tied with a horse and a B, both having one point, and Chris Gethard... Bringing up the rear with zero points. Bringing up the hind parts. Bringing up the stinger. Yep. So next question. Next question. This animal eats honey. B. A bee. That is correct. No, 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 no. They don't. The bees don't eat honey. What are you, stupid? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Chris. This is the horse. Okay, Chris? We're playing a game here, all right? Hold your horses, everybody. Hold your horses. I'm gonna gallop you into a pulp, okay? Oh, God, my ankle. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Horse, horse, are you okay? Oh, no. Oh, my leg. It's my horse leg. Okay. Honey, I think I twisted my ankle. Honey, honey, are you, are you, are you being real right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Yes, the opposite of nay. Okay. Oh, this is not good at all. This is terrible. No, no, no. This is this is awful. Uh, are you, are you hearing me? Tell me, are you hearing me? Can you hear me? <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's gonna be all right. I'll, I'll have a look. Guys, that girl's asleep again. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you can't me right now. You oh, oh, she's she's dying. dying. She is. Oh, there's a horse that's dying. Even that's not waking her up. No, 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 no. no. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. I'm gonna. Hey, she's not. Hey, you know where we're gonna go, right? What? You know where we're gonna go? Where are we gonna go, B? We're gonna go. We're gonna go to Saturday Night Live. Oh, tell me about the Saturday Night Live, B. Tell me about the Saturday Night Live. Hey, we're gonna, gonna get to tell all those puns on Saturday Night Live. Oh, tell weekend me. Update. Oh, yeah, we're gonna tell all those puns yeah. on Saturday Night Live, right, B? Yeah, that's right. Right, B? We're gonna tell all those puns uh -huh. on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> tell me about the puns, B. Tell me about the puns. I just want to say, for all the shit I've given you, I, uh, I really do like you, and I think you're the glue of this show. Uh. Why would you? Are still gonna continue. 
Why are you leaving Boo? Because you're not going anywhere. You're going to the big show on NBC. I'm going to the big show on NBC. I'm going to the big show on NBC. It's going to be great. Tell me about the rabbits and the buttons. <laughs> are you watching, Lord? Are you watching, Lord? <laughs> Some material. Um, I'm gonna say Steve from Pittsburgh still in the phone. I'm sad to see them go, I guess. What's up, um, is it Steve? That's all I, I really have to say about that. What did you have um, to say about does it? Does this mean it's the end of Horse and B? Will we just have B from now on? I don't know, Steve. I mean, honey, no. I think so, cause Horse just got killed live on the air. Three and a half well, minutes left. Probably help be the best guy to Horse. Repeat that, Steve? You could beat the dead horse. The audience are open. You have to beat a dead horse. You guys gotta help me. You gotta beat a dead horse. Come on. You gotta beat a dead horse. You need more help? Thank you, Steve. We need new calls. 212 757 1393. We are beating a dead horse here on Horse and B, the companion show to the Chris Gethard show. We always keep these ending. This is not planned. This is not planned. This was not planned. We're beating a dead horse. Let's go to Drake in Queens. Drake, welcome to the show. Uh, hi. Uh, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> Drake, what the right? hell am I watching? Drake, right now you're watching Horse and B, a Saturday B Nate. Live, it's a companion show to the Chris Gethard Show. Saddle being Nay Hive! Yeah. Saddle be Nay Hive. Have you ever watched really the Chris Gethard Show before, Jake? I, I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> of course you can't, Jake. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'd like to thank the entire cast and crew of Saddle Nay Hive. Uh, Chris Gethard, uh, Horse B, uh, the Lovable. Steve Martin for stopping by, Hot Dog Cash, Justin Timberlake, Justin Scalia, uh, Lauren Michaels, everyone at NBC, everyone at MMA, here at Cocaine, uh, Vacation Jason, uh, everyone in the audience, Dan Tiziano, Sophie Bro, Happy Birthday, uh, thank you so much for Jamie Love, thank you, good night, Shelby from Kentucky. We have a minute and a half left. We got the device, Chris. We got the device. We got a minute. Got the device. Let's go to let's go to Talia. Talia and Ithaca. Another call from Ithaca. We have Talia. Talia and Ithaca, are you there? We got like a minute. We got another full minute. Hi, Mom. Hey, Talia and Ithaca? Hi. <laughs> is she there or no? Who's on the phone? Well, this is the perfect way for this episode. Ever. She hung up the phone. So we got 38 seconds. We just have to stand here. Well, I don't know what to do. I took care of my app. These assholes didn't write enough material. Good night usually lasts like a minute and a half anyway.